And we should be coming live. Nice. Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today is Sunday and we're doing another comic book reading again. Okay, we got five, five, five books to choose from. Okay, and uh, we've done a, a few of these over the last few years. Uh, we started off by doing recording versions of them and now we've kicked in into doing live comic book readings and at some point we'll probably get back into doing some recordings as well and we've done combinations of live and recording where i edit this stuff so just experimenting and uh, uh playing around with all the different options we have available for us but still staying focused on reading comic books right aside from that uh, while we wait for notifications to go out for people to roll in let me give you my little intro as to who i am what i'm up to and where you can find me if you are watching this after the fact after uh the live stream where we're loaded on to different platforms uh but i am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o if you want to support this work if you want to follow this work patreon is a fantastic way to do so i don't put anything behind paywalls everything's creative commons share share like okay you can follow the work and after a while if you do end up uh, liking what you're seeing then uh, supporting this work through patreon is a fantastic way to make sure that this project continues and um, grows okay we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e if you want to participate in these live streams in the chat it's going to be down there as it's happening twitch is where you want to be at spider-man how are you doing so excited so excited awesome awesome i'm really looking forward to doing these uh these readings graham graham i'm rooting brother i'm rooting <laughs> i'm rooting man I do announce these live streams one day. You know what? It's going to be at minimum, let's say at least within five readings because we got five comic books until unless we introduce a new comic book into the whole fray, then uh, at, at, within five readings possibly, right? Jack Les Kavar, how are you doing? Jack Chicho, hi. I've been missing for a while. I'm really sorry. My phone is terrible. No, no worries, Jack. I know sometimes the notifications don't go out to people. So it is what it is, right? Uh, that's one reason I try to announce. I haven't set up a schedule on a weekly basis, but I try to announce, give people ample warning and set up the schedule at least a week ahead of time and stuff. Well, some of them give a week, two days ahead of time, but plan out for a week or two weeks sometimes right finally caught one live awesome see sean yo 71 how are you doing sean yo on charter days how are you doing hope you and chat are doing well doing fantastic sunday sunny reading comics having great conversations life can't be better really uh, well where's elder god because we love mario and sonic here <laughs> I wonder if he knows that it's going to be Mario this time. Oh, no, there he is. Mario sucks. Elder God shows up. What are we reading today? We got five choices. We're going to take a poll and see what uh, everybody decides. And that's what we're going to read. Okay. Malatras 2. Hey, Chicho. Nice rainy day here for a stream. Awesome. And rainy days are some of my favorite days, by the way, to read comic books. If I see a nice rainy day... Uh, I lean towards reading comics really just kick back and just read or read books right elder god spot of tea how you doing <laughs> elder god mario Sons. yo let's go void how are you doing how are you doing oh batman would be cool the dolphin how are you doing how are you doing catholic traditionalist good afternoon brothers and sisters hope that you are all having a blessed sunday you too brother you too you too i'm packing right now so i've got to lurk but i'll definitely be here no worries spider-man fingers crossed uh everything goes well cheryl how's life bureaucracy killed hello hello i do announce these live streams 30 minutes we go before we go live on lo vk parlor mines gab 
and Twitter. You can follow the work on those platforms and the links will be in the description of this video and they are available on all our videos really well most of our videos many of our videos since i started going going on those platforms uh, for live streams we don't have any visuals uh, and i'm recording with a blue power mic which i'm not right now we're going to be all uploading the audios to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o and those are available as podcasts and they should be available on your favorite podcasting platform as well including spotify okay and we will be uploading this video to youtube and bitshoot and if you want to follow this work youtube and bitshoot is a fantastic way to follow what we're doing more is being uploaded to bitshoot than youtube even though youtube has a lot more content available on it for now all of that content at some point while well, i'm in the process of transferring it over to bitshoot as well okay so censor chicho on youtube uncensor chicho everything access you see what we're doing goes on bitshoot okay and if you want to support this work if you're on youtube you can join youtube membership aside from that welcome everyone uh, as soon as i got caught up to chat i did my finish off my quick little intro uncharted i started reading v for vendetta after your comic reading and i'm loving it awesome i love how these streams are a good way to promote some uh great comics yeah uncharted days that's the main reason i got into making comic book videos because I didn't, I barely came across anyone in my daily interaction that read comic books aside from a weekly thing that I did that I went to comic book stores on Wednesdays to pick up comic books, right? My pull list. Like friends, family, barely of them, barely any of them read comic books. And I was like, man, how could you, like, it's like one of the greatest pleasures in life and very few people do it. So, I started making these videos to promote comic books and I'm glad that it's being taken in that light. How are you doing today? Doing very well, Darth Dolphin. Thank you very much. Envious, how are you doing? Greetings, greetings. Is this Super Mario? Could be, could be. I know at least there's a couple of people cheering for it, right? And one person trying to knock it down. <laughs> Chicho, remember me? It's me, Vanos. It's, ah, oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, Ray, how do you pronounce your name here? Revis Game. I'm gonna call you Game. Uh, YouTube. Uh, you commented a couple of, made a couple of comments, and I replied to you. Uh, thank you for commenting on YouTube, and it was, uh, uh, it was nice comments. I liked the interaction. You asked me about the education system, I believe, and I gave you my take on it. And I believe you work with very uh, intelligent uh, females in your organization because they told you what. Our current education system one was like right and you came to ask i think that was a conversation it could have been another one but um associating differently i can set up the poll graham let's set up the poll cult uh, okay hold on let me take these guys down i always forget about these guys doing 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 okay guys we are going to run a poll okay and neutral poll please neutral <laughs> Graham's gonna set the poll. Mario, 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 Mario. <laughs> Which Mario is gonna win it? <laughs> Hilarious. Gang, here are our choices for this reading. You've seen, if you've come to the previous readings, you'll know uh, what the choices are, okay? But we'll run through them again because this is, we're gonna vote on this to see which one we're gonna read, right? <laughs> again, the void says. We have the cult, okay? classic 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 four issue prestige format uh, that came out in um, the late 1980s 1988 uh, written by jim starlin art by bernie wrightson and bill ray i believe did the coloring for it okay and issue number one we're going to read okay at some point anyway if it doesn't win today it wins another day we got crime does not pay issue number 116 and crime does not pay came out in 1952 okay and lee lev gleason publications basically publisher for it and crime does not pay is one of the sought after comics uh series uh in the comic book medium i think everything almost sought after to a certain degree and this has a story with john dillinger in it john dillinger right then we got let me do it this way 
rearrange them. Butush, butush. Then we got Kit Colt. Okay. Kit Colt. The cover of this is done by Jack Kirby. Okay. The stories are all by Stan Lee. And the artwork is by Dick Ayers and Jack Keller. And this came out in 1962. And Kit Colt is the longest Western running comic book series or character in comic book history right it ran for like four decades three decades what was the numbers 1948 to 1979 almost 30 years okay kid colt was being published as a comic book and the cover of this is jack kirby and i believe it's the only monster kid colt cover story okay then we got the mario brothers valiant comics this is one of the first comic books that valiant put out okay i believe it's could be the first comic book mario uh, valiant comics put out when they established themselves there's another one which is mario super brothers special that came out in the same time as this but i'll give you the lowdown on that if this gets chosen okay and the people that uh, worked on this would have been the whole valiant crowd from bob layton jim shooter and uh, the art is art nicholas mark uh, colin george wild wildman george carrigan wrote bill valley uh, uh wrote there's a lot of people with a lot of credits on this okay and this came out in 1990 and then we'll get another comic book by valiant comics which is exo man of war number one the first appearance of exo man of war this is uh basically in the first couple of years that uh, valiant comic kicked it into their own uh line of superheroes a very very important character and exo man of war came out came out when did it call 1992 it came out okay and some of the same people that were involved with exo man of war were also involved with super mario brothers okay those are our choices and we're going to run a poll and uh, i think we should have the poll how long we've we been doing this we're about 20 months since the stream what should we do should we set set up the poll for five minutes or less uh, just in case uh, ba, 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 da, 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 da. Uh, they've got a fair bit of people here so I, I'm pretty sure notifications have gone out five Mario's and one Sonic please girl. <laughs> I could I could seriously elder God would not like us I could actually bring out the rest of the Valiant superhero comics I have here to show you guys and have those running we got Zelda Captain N, we got Super Mario, Super Mario, Super Mario. <laughs> I bought these, by the way, when they were being put out, off the shelves, off the shelves, just to let you know. I watched Bloodshot last night, loved it, you loved it, Elder God, hilarious, awesome, I'm going to kill someone. <laughs> hilarious absolutely and it's only 75 24 degrees celsius perfect weather nice nice it's gonna get hot for me here gang i'm sitting in the sunroom and i closed off all the windows so the sound of garden work and stuff is muffled if it comes in uh so that's where i am right now okay uh, it's supposed to get like the 31 degrees celsius here today uncharted is really want to pick up the valiant mario comics but they are hard to find yeah i one day i want to get the whole line i'm thinking about going after getting the whole line the polls running the polls running gang three minutes okay make your choices super mario is already up super mario's got three votes going four votes going kid colt is at two xo is at one and batman and crime does not pay have not even left the gate they have not exos and not two votes right now da -da 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 -da. we got three minutes people are holding off to see where it goes oh x kit colt kit colt is at three not exo exo is still at one kit colt it's a race between kit colt and mario right now but are we going to see some of the back lineup making their way up let's check it out let's check it out people are holding off people are holding off to see to see they're going to take it down to the last minute are they are they are people going to cast votes i'm holding off <laughs> i know that's what i'm doing crime does not pay 
is at number one. Oh, Mario's at five. Mario's seriously taking over now. Mario's coming up. Mario's coming up. Check it out. We got a tie at one and one for EXO. Kid Cole's got three. Mario's got five. And poor Batman is still in the gate. Poor Batman. Poor Batman. He's gonna get pissed. <laughs> So we got a we got about a minute left gang. So if you want to cast your votes, you cast your votes. Oh Kit Colt is at number four. Kit Colt's got four now. Almost catching up to Mario. Almost catching up to Mario. Let's check it out. At the rate the polls are going, it's basically a two horse race right now. Two comic book race right now. Kit Colt or Super Mario Brothers getting close Graham Graham you excited have you cast your vote Graham are you have you done it yet or are you holding off or did you go right off the bat if I was you I would have gone right off the bat just give it the push right the hype Mario's sitting at five we're down to the last few seconds gang Mario's at six Kid Colt is at four Kid Colt is at five. Oh 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 neck and neck neck and neck six for Mario five for Kid Colt six for mario five for kid cold we're into the last seconds i'm not i'm i'm voting for i'm i'm not getting into this game i'm voting for exo i just cast my vote <laughs> exo's at two. <laughs> oh, it's a tie so far six and six. Oh my god oh mario takes it at seven on the last second <laughs> Awesome. Mario got seven. Kid calls at six. Exo got two. Crime does not pay got one. And Batman never left the gate. He was sleeping. It was out all night. He was out all night. Let's bring Mario out. Mario is it. <laughs> hilarious. Hilarious. Awesome. Awesome. Let's check this out. No. Oh, I'm envious. <laughs> Kathy, trust me, I love I voted Graham. You voted right off the bat. Yeah. Let's check it out. I'll have to go read Kid Cold myself. <laughs> Never you know what? We're we're the next reading, unless I introduce a new comic book in there to kick it up to five, the next voting is gonna be four. And then it's gonna go down to three and then two and then we read whatever's left over and then we introduce five new books. I'm pretty sure at you know we'll introduce one or two books through this whole process but we're going to read kid cult at some point for sure i went with crime mix says crime uh but wow so hard to decide when you want all of them yeah indeed trust me i voted Graham says i voted as well do i get a sticker <laughs> the readings are awesome but the poll it's always worth the price of admission in <laughs> Cheryl says, Mario, spot of tea, Graham, last minute, last second, last second, Mario took it with seven. If it was going to be a tie, we would have to run another poll between the two, right? A real hero, it's a me, <laughs> spot of tea, so ready for this, Graham says, I can't stay, I need to go, I have ice, <laughs> ice to me. Some great choices there, man. I'm sweating already, laughing so hard. Uncharted Day, some great choices there. It was a hard decision, but it had to be Mario. It had to be. I had a feeling it was going to be Mario today. Oh, come on, Elder God. Cheryl says to Elder God, even though I have absolutely no evidence of this, I'm blaming collusion for this vote. <laughs> Oh my god that cracks me up oh, i don't want to i don't want to laugh so hard i'm sweating so hard jeez louise italian collusion perhaps no i, I think uh, mick had it on the ball right <laughs> if mainstream media was russian it'd be russian collusion the russians did it the russians did. by the way gang if you've never seen the movie russians are coming is a fantastic movie from the 1960s i believe with alan um I forget his name. He's a phenomenal actor. Com comedy show, comedy movie where a Russian submarine gets grounded and all the Russians make their way to a little town, fishing town, and everybody's freaking out because the Russians are coming. 
brilliant movie brilliant movie you'll never see a movie like that come out of hollywood now okay just saying gang mario alan uh not alan alda alan um uh, alan alda is the mash guy uh alan is it alan the main guy i forget his name arkin alan arkin i believe maple violet thank you alan arkin yeah such an amazing actor so good okay we'll film salt shakers work <laughs> elder god says okay gang should we start the reading should we start the reading let's do this let's do let me bring out these guys let me show you these guys too that's the reason i, I keep i kept on bringing these guys out putting in here mario wasn't getting picked so i'm like <laughs> okay I gotta show you this I gotta show you guys this so as before what I'm gonna do I'm gonna turn off uh, chat I'm gonna turn off notifications I'm gonna turn off my screen and uh, we'll get into the reading and then after the reading I'll uh, I'll turn on the the notifications in the chat and everything back on again breaking news leak chicho email proves he was paid off Super Mario Brothers comics reading may not have been legitimate <laughs> Grabs <laughs> emotes. Okay, I suppose. Or rolling uh, silverware. Uh, do you do that in the UK? Rolling? Is that the cleaning? Excited for this mix says. You can't prove that. Grabs. <laughs> Hilarious. Proof not required according to uh, mainstream propagandists, right? yeah all the emails will do it i had my own server <laughs> in the closet <laughs> i lost it <laughs> that was a witness the chicho leaks managed to get a hold of some ah, hilarious fun okay gang i'm taking chat down i'm taking chat down i'm gonna take uh, notifications down i'm taking chat down i'm gonna take my video down I'll see you guys after the reading okay <coughs> awesome Whew. man i was sweaty i gotta dry myself out i last laughed too hard too funny too funny reading time quiet everybody <laughs> jay jay did the mask time to get comfy get comfy gang get comfy okay hi everyone this is chicho welcome to the channel welcome to another comic book reading we are doing this reading live on twitch so if you want to participate in these readings as they are happening uh, you do want to be on twitch but we do upload these videos to youtube and BitChute. and today on the reading block it is super mario brothers number one that came out in 1990 okay and this is uh, from valiant comics and valiant comics was an independent sort of a publisher that jim shooter was the brains behind it with barb bob layton and a couple other people with investors that got together after a failed bid that um, jim shooter tried to get some investors together to buy marvel comics and believe it or not they were selling marvel comics in the 1980s and jim shooter was trying to get his hands on marvel comics he got uh, outplayed to a certain degree and out moneyed and he failed in his bid to buy marvel comics and jim shooter was one of the longest editors in chiefs um one of the people that was editor-in-chief at marvel comics for the longest period of time i believe he was either second longest next to uh stan lee or third longest next to uh, uh oh, Koseda. i forget his name i can't pronounce his name unless i read it all out loud but uh jim shooter is also the person who started this company is also credited with saving marvel comics right without jim shooter we probably wouldn't have the marvel comics we have right now we wouldn't have secret wars we wouldn't have venom we wouldn't have many 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 things right and basically what it ended up happening is jim shooter formed after his failed bit to take over marvel comics or buy marvel comics 
he created his own company with Valiant Comics. And then what he decided to do was license out the Nintendo line of characters, right? To make comic books of because he was trying to bring up comic books where they would sort of be a money generating while he was in the process of introducing new characters into the superhero universe, their own line of characters, right? Now, financially, this didn't really work out for Valiant Comics as well as Jim Shooter had expected because the comics didn't sell very well and they weren't really a money generating. So he had to go back for refinancing and stuff like this. And he brought on the Valiant universe as we know now with Harbinger, Exo, Eternal Warrior, Rai, and all those characters. And they ended up being an amazing hit. And Valiant Comics in the early 1990s took the comic book industry by surprise. It was a storm that no one expected. Okay. Because what ended up happening is they they came onto the scene with superhero characters in 1990, 1991, 1992. And within two years, they shot up to third place and they were challenging Marvel and DC comics in terms of print runs of how many comics they were publishing. Okay. So what we're going to do today is read Super Mario Brothers number one. And this should be the first Valiant comic, could be the first Valiant comic that uh, was put out. And there was another Super Mario Brothers comic that was put out at the same time. Now, I posted, uh, I went on forums and I talked to, you know, I asked questions on people who are into the Valiant universe as to which one of these came out first because they have the same date, 1991, they have the same month, right? And one thing I did was look into the Valiant fans comic book database and the same date and the same month was put on both of these comics, right? But the person who put that website together contacted me, commented on my post saying that those dates that are on the Valiant Fan Comic Book Database uh, website are guesses. Okay, so we know that both of these came out in 1991. We just don't know which one came out first. My guess is, is this one came out first, the one we're going to do the reading, because this was the number one for the continuing series, which this guy here this comic book here is number two issue number two of this series with this being number one so i'm guessing the special edition came after this but we're not 100 percent sure if anybody does know please post a comment uh, so this is super mario brothers number two and i believe i have number three somewhere in my boxes possibly but i don't have the full run for this and at some point i will try to get my hands on the full run of this and for those of you who are into gaming okay this cover is basically the same cover as um, super mario brothers number three i believe that it came out for the nes or was it the n64 i can't remember which console it came out for but it's the same cover as the game cartridge that was put out and it was super mario brothers number three okay so it was taken from that i believe it would have been in the nes or it could have been in uh, 64. so uh very cool that we're going to get a chance to read this okay definitely nes from grant what uh during chat one of the people that was really rooting for this comic to be read because we ran a poll at the beginning we have five comics to choose from and super mario brothers one okay this is super mario brothers number two from the series okay now this series super mario brothers number two is the second series that valiant comics put out okay and this series i believe started in 1998 Oh, I can't remember when it started. Maybe 1992 or three or something like this. I can't remember when I bought this. I saw it on the shelves and I grabbed it. And I bought all of these comics off the shelves. I believe so anyway, as they were being put out. Uh, they weren't readily available. A lot of, you couldn't find them everywhere, right? So this is the cover for the second series. Number one. Okay. And it's a smaller size. If you take a look at this, check, take a look. 
the second series is more you see that that's where it ends and the first series ends over here so the first series that they put out was more of a golden age comic book size okay and all the ones that they put out that are golden age comic book size if you take a look at this this is smaller as well and that's smaller as well this is the first the line of valiant comics that they put out uh, so if you're trying to track these down those are the ones that you want this is another one that they put out which is captain n this is captain n number one i never saw captain n number two or three or anything like this off the shelves uh, in the comic books that i was going uh, so these are i believe the only ones that i was able to get my hands on okay very cool very cool and here's zelda zelda number one and for me the choice was either we read mario brothers number one or zelda number one i went with mario brothers because i have more of the mario brothers comics and mario brothers both both legend of zelda and mario brothers are legends in the comic book industry right so i'm pretty sure there is uh, some of you there that would have loved to have us read uh, legend of zelda right but we'll go with mario brothers so let me put these guys apart on one side okay and this comic book is in mint mint condition when i picked it up it was a beautiful condition and i haven't read this i just bought it because i'm a huge i love mario brothers super mario brothers i played some of the original games in the 1980s and 90s right in the 1980s really on uh in the on the nes okay and then of course on n64 and uh mario brothers is just something you play right so let's crack this open okay let's put the tape on one side so it doesn't snag and we're going to be try to be as gentle with this as possible okay gang. now take a look at this thing i think you would appreciate the grade on this if i was to grade this i would have grade this at minimum 9.8 so we're about to read super mario brothers a 9.8 graded comic beautiful 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 the glare on it is insane like look at this right sharp edges beautiful comic beautiful comic featuring exclusive scenes from the hottest game ever super mario brothers 3 right and that's the cover of this that's the cover of the cartridge the box that you would get right nintendo comic systems check this out and they got a little stamp here official nintendo licensed product <laughs> someone's mentioning gary's mentioning that he'd be terrified to open this but that's what i do with my comics game it's worth whatever the price of this is in 9.8 or 9.9 .9 or 10 condition to read it with you guys it really is worth it look at that <laughs> what a sweet comic what a sweet comic must be done must be done we have no choice we have no choice ah nice cheryl says uh, in the live stream the kiddo asked me to pass along that he's playing super mario 64 and i listen nice 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 we don't kill for sport we don't kill for sport so let's check this out iron sword a gaming ad and a gaming comic could it be any sweeter become the ultimate warrior in the ultimate war All right let's read this <clears throat> let's see if we can get this focus the evil wizard M malkil 
is back and his fury rages out of control in the form of four sinister elements earth wind fire and water as kuros the night warrior you track them in their dark dominions pursued by armies of vile creatures to emerge victorious assemble the assemble the shattered iron sword and face what no warrior has ever faced before look for the iron sword and wizard and wizards and warriors for your nintendo entertainment system acclaim and by the way acclaim gaming ended up buying valiant comics right fun <laughs> awesome and is that fabio someone's mentioning that this might be fabio is it fabio could be could be let's do this <clears throat> look at this look at this mail in your subscription order today okay i'll do it it's even got a little coupon little card right and here are the here are the comics that they and someone's mentioning that cover was actually uh, Fabio. Here, let me bring this out. And these are the titles that they were releasing, Valiant Comics. Okay, Super Mario Brothers, The Legend of Zelda, Captain N, The Game Master, Game Boy. I didn't have, I don't have a copy of Game Boy. Nintendo Comic Systems, all five titles for one year. You could have got all five titles for one year for 129.95. <laughs> right send the order form with your check check this out let's read this might as well read everything in this almost anyway send your order form with your check or money order to voyager communications incorporated 65 commerce road stamford connecticut they're based in connecticut lower rent there right very cool very cool we'll put this here so we don't forget to put it back in the comic right <clears throat> look at this north star fist of the north star game boy check it out check it out <laughs> look at this fist of the north star 10 big brawls for the king of the universe normal mode challenge the computer versus mode go head to head with friends team mode create an invis uh, invincible dream team of warriors each with a special power presented by electro brain electro brain very cool and some of these games would be huge collectibles right now so i wonder how much some of these games are going for what does that say this game pack for use with the game boy uh, compact video game system toyo animation company cool and uh, just to let you know who the creators for this oh it's got a listed here very cool very cool now jim shooter and bob layton were part of this but down here let me show you this writing whoops where are we there we are Boop. so this is by george caragon art nicholas jade p zorito and janet jackson and janet jackson was huge in valiant comics she was participating in valiant comics from the get-go from the get-go okay so she was there a long time yeah Graham fact check away fact check away okay that's what we're here for look at this white white pages and each of these stories take a look there are a lot of people that worked on this so that's a two-page story and then we have another one which is another story right with different people well, some different people. Janet Jackson did a lot of the coloring, I believe, 
in this in most valiant comics bill valley mark uh mclellan george willman willman jade p zoroto janet jackson right beautiful comic beautiful comic let's read okay like this thing is not even bending right we're gonna kick that kick this down from 9.8 or a 10 down to a 9.6 or 9.4 must be done must be done must be done must be done check this out let's bring it up let's bring it up Boop. i gotta try to bring this guy down this side of it check it out far beyond beyond the world we know so legend nintendo comic systems continue uh, continue the legend far beyond the world we know lies the magical mushroom kingdom there the mushroom people lived in peace ruled by the kindly mushroom king and his daughter princess um, toadstool little did they realize that evil what was growing in their midst the freedom loving fungi were menaced by the forces of tyranny and there's a freedom loving fungi running oh that's browser i believe right bowser oh, look at him go those mushrooms give you magic The biggest troublemaker were was a revolting reptile and a despicable despot that callous cold-blooded creep king bowser koopa who were you expecting the tooth fairy <laughs> toad the royal mushroom retainer wondered who would save the kingdom good question huh the king the king gentle the me the kind gentle the mere princess toadstool called for help 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 and step on it okay <laughs> tap 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 <laughs> she's like tap 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 impatient princess funny here's these guys too these plants you go down their mouths and you go into secret tunnels and collect the coins and stuff very cool very cool look at the turtles look at the turtles the ghosts oh look at these guys very cool very cool Let's check this out. <laughs> Mario and Luigi. Let's see if we can get this focused. Fortunately, word reached the ears of two heroic uh, champions of goodness and right. Two men who hunger for justice and thirsted for freedom. Help, help princess tadpole's voice is coming up through the pipes right and they're plumbers really right mario brothers plumbing and he's eating spaghetti pasta i believe mario a man of great courage and determination and his brother luigi who though shy was always willing to rise to a challenge this is where the legend ends and the adventure begins the super mario brothers defeated the forces of evil Bam. look at the thing they got the 
fire um, balls that they're throwing to get rid of people. Mario's picked some up. So this is an intro, two-page intro to this. However, King Koopa wasn't going to take the feet lying down, plunged into despair by a pair of plumbers. All my evil plans flushed down the drain, but I'll get them for this. Our heroes knew that, just like water in a clock sink, the call for help would rise again. Remember, the best late late pipes of mushrooms are the best late pipes of mushrooms and men are bound in time to burst but in the meantime when do we eat mario says game over that's the quickest little mario game and by the way gang here's a little fine print so we got to read the fine print right before we continue on so that was our little intro let me read this fine print okay Super Mario Brothers Volume 1, Number 1, 1990. Okay. Published by Valiant, a division of Voyager Communications. James Shooter, President. Right. Stephen J. Masarski, Secretary. J. Wilson, uh, Folk, Folks Treasurer. Office of Publication, 132 West 21st Street, New York, New York. Oh, so publication is New York, New York. It wasn't the same as the card, right? Uh, 10011, copyright 1990, Nintendo of America Incorporated, and copyright 1990, Voyager Communication Incorporated. All rights featured herein and the dis uh, distinctive likeliness thereof are uh, trademarks of nintendo of america incorporated all rights reserved dollar 95 per copy printed in the usa no similarity between any of the names characters uh, persons and or institutions in this magazine with those of any person living or dead or any institution is intended and any such similarity which may occur may exist is purely coincidental okay so that's a generic fine print cool prana round sue so that was a two page called the legend so went through a whole bunch of stuff two pages explained to us how this whole saga has begun and again this is by bill uh, valley this next story, Bill Valley, Mark McLennan, George Will, uh, Wildman, Jade, P. Zorita, and Janet Jackson. Okay. Let's check out this next story. Piranha Round Sue. Piranha Round Sue. Let's get this focused. I don't know. Maybe it's me. I just don't like being ambushed by bush. I'm telling you, Toad, the piranha plants, piranha plants are planning a revolution of one kind or another. Mario says, King, King, the plants are revolting. I've always thought so. Ha <laughs> ha. The plants are revolting. I've always thought so. Let's get this focus for you guys. The piranha plants. That's King Toad. <laughs> King Toad is a fly. Did you lose weight, King? That's a good look for you, Mario says. Koopa has turned me into a chameleon, Mario. I need I need the magic wand to turn me I need the magic wand to turn me back. And you guys 
just got volunteered. Ah, oh, he's a chameleon. He's not a toad. That's right. He's got a long ass tail. Look at that. He's a chameleon. Right. So he says, I need the magic wand to turn me back. And you two guys just got volunteered. Right. It just eats the fly. Sire, I understand that being a lizard can't be pleasant, but there is a revolution brewing. This is important, sire. Gulp. The little mushroom. And the paper for this is very heavy stock. Oh, this fly is green. It's a good fly, but not great. You know what I mean? <laughs> Sire, the only place to get a magic wand is the Piranha Plant headquarters on World 1. Mario says, um, if you're not going to eat that fly, <laughs> do you mind? He's like eyeing the fly on Mario's hat. Look at that. Yes, a matter of fact I do Mario says what does that say world 5 minus 1 Mor world 5 dash 1 I can't I played the games a long time ago so I can't remember if that's one of the game um, levels or not so he's gonna zap the fly oh he didn't eat it Mario minded selfish I shouldn't give you this then what's that Mario asks he drops a little jewel this is the green gecko gem it will put a force field around you only the strongest enemies can break through but there is a downside oh look at Mario's face He's all excited. What's the downside? You can't touch anyone else. Ah, is that it? The little mushroom says. Oh, there's some loose talk that if if it falls into the wrong hands, it will mean total destruction of all the kingdom. Same thing we've heard before, Mario says. Look at that. So Mario's in this panel, Mario just looks looks like Mario no glowing thing and in this panel right where he's holding the gem he's got a little force field around him right cool listen I've got an idea of what we can do so he's like whispering in his ears hmm that might work if they try anything Mario says and he's holding the gem and they're skipping along soon soon excuse me mario could you slow down a little splat not in this not in this life mario says could be worse last time i got squashed i always toe jam for a week uh -huh. you know not everyone has the green gecko gem to help them along haha <laughs> they don't well they should arc yerk yerk oh look at the plants nasty mario not nice me him him mean i concur fully wait mario wait for me 
Did Piranha Sue hear someone round here, round here mention the green gecko? How interesting. It gives me an idea. Piranha Sue says. Hold on there. Little guy, that plumber guy doesn't treat you very well, does he? Mario? Mario's my friend, he says. I hear that Mario has a powerful little gem. Maybe so? So I'd much rather see that green gecko gem in the proper hands. Your hands, mushroom hands. Uh -huh. Be careful of the whispers, right? Be careful of the whispers. Wouldn't you like to have all that power? Pranasu says. Oh, you made me a sli sli slime malted? How nice, he says to the princess, with extra granite, just the way you like it. Eh, all the mushrooms are cheering. Hail King Toad, we live to serve boy i wish i could dream up more ways to serve king toad you and me both i live to grovel <laughs> funny i like the mushrooms wait a second you want me to betray everything i hold dear just for a few fleeting moments of power sure what are friends for <laughs> funny too close to reality tell you the truth okay tell me more oh no it's so pleasant working with reasonable fungus <laughs> oh no look at that and Mario's still zooming along meanwhile Mario's far ahead Let's see if I jump under this block. Boink. Boink. Oh, and all the gems come out. There are such things as priorities. He gets all the gems. The coins, right? Not the gems, the coins. Gets all the jewels. The gold. Look at the cave. Look at all the all the tunnels underground right super cool super cool look at them all and the water and the piping very cool very cool or i shouldn't say tunnels i should say piping so let's focus on this so all i have to do is act like I'm about to fall into the waterfall. Yep, that's it. So Piranha Sue is uh, tricking him. Come to Papa, Mario's busy collecting the gold coins. Daddy needs a new adjustable socket wrench set. scroll down our leader they got a gigantic picture of bowser on there our revolution will proceed so much faster than planned and what idiot mushroom believes we would just hand the green gecko gem over to him soon we will have the gem unlimited power then we'll be free of koopa once and for all Oh, they're putting a little mustache on him we will rule the world we will rule the multiverse and more importantly more than one bathroom in here in in here cool. 
He's got a little peace symbol. Wow. <laughs> the mushroom. I hear cheering. Mushroom hears cheering of the prana plants below him, right? Yeah, they're all cheering and he hears it. I hear cheering. No, you don't. Get in the water, Pranasu says. Oh, he's going to betray Mario. Ah, look at him in the water. Remember, Mario will see you drowning and put down the gem to rescue you. Then I'll uh, hold on to it until you're safe. <sighs> I don't deserve a buddy as good as you, he says. Oh, such a foolish little mushroom. Meanwhile, Mario is near the end of his mission. Oh, there's a magic wand. At last. Here's a magic wand, Mario says. Now, back to Toadie. Hope he's used his time constructively too. Boink, boink, boink. Mario's skipping along. Oh, he sees him. Oh no, he's going over that waterfall, Mario says. He's got the gem, he's got total glowing on him, right? Is there any particular reason you're in that creek? Mario asks. Let's talk about talk about it in great detail after you've put pulled me out the mushroom sets. He's like so happy. <laughs> Look at the trees, the bushes, they're all like looking, what's going on? There's Piranha Sue just looking, uh, peeking above the piping, right? I can't grab you as long as I'm holding the gem. You know that. Mario, no kidding. I'm beginning to slip. Lose the stupid gem already. He says. No can do, buddy oh, buddy oh mine. Someone could steal the gem. Mario, forget it. Something's really got my foot. No kidding. That is Piranha Sue, right? Haha, <laughs> look at the little fish laughing. Two of them. Haha, <laughs> there's another fish here looking at us. Take a look. Let's see if this thing focuses. There he is. Have you looked in an aquarium before? A little fish come up to you and look at you. Oh, what's going on? Gloop! Oh, Prana soup pulled uh, the mushroom into the water. Mario's like, Toady! Uh. uh oh. And he drops the gem. The gem's mine. Pranasu says. Look at that. Look at that. Stealing the gem. Oh, look at that. She's also got the wand. <laughs> Check it out. My, my. And here's the magic wand too. The king needs that to turn back to normal. He's been turned into a lizard, Mario says. Look at the little mushroom, he almost actually drowned. He's all soaked. Uh-oh. Tell him to avoid the green flies. <laughs> They're the worst. <laughs> 
excuse me but exactly when do i get the gem the little mushroom asks toby you fool now nah, i'm invincible all the piranha plants are invincible she says as of today i rule the world <laughs> bowser comes along and grabs her head oh that's a great face so you're a leader of the world huh did i say that she says let's check this out hold on for me to do a little adjustment here you know i've had a tough day first first some plumber guy throws a plunger at me yelling yeah yeah you can't catch me i chased that moron for miles stub stub a clown claw doing it and now i found you talk i found you talking about world conquest or oh, you you thought i was talking about conquering it for for me no 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 she says well mr koopa king sir for me we've got a magic wand and a magic gem just because well just because you're you for you we've got a magic wand and a magic gem just because well just because you're you oh it grabs a magic wand but it lets go of the gem magic wand magic gem cheesy trinkets like those those are nothing to copa the great and powerful oh look at that she drops the gem oh there goes mario going for it look at this brooklyn plumbing novelty company serving your plumbing novelty needs for nearly one hundredth of a century nearly hundredth of a century you idiot bowser says there's mario and toady just jumping for it ah here's the ad for zelda and we have this right very cool very cool very cool very cool you mean the gem and the wand are useless not at all bowser says this wand makes an excellent pedal bender let's uh try shall we pedal bender <laughs> i've got the hand i've got to hand it to you toad your plan worked I can't think of anything in the universe plumber dumber than a man eating plant I knew I knew what she was up up to all along Toad says Mario Toady it's good to see someone who won't walk all over me why is he all white well oh chameleon that's right changing color well you do tend to blend into the background sir i'm normal 
I'm normal again. There is the king. Only technically, te technically, sir. Oh, and he's still chasing flies. More lizard uh, crunchies, sire. Game over. Mario fulfilled his mission. Nintendo comic systems. Oh, this is the other one that they were talking about. Mario Brothers 3 plus Zelda 2, The Adventures of Link, Captain N, The Game Master, and more. Cool. Need to get my hands on that one too. What does this say? Dear Princess Toadstool, these are like fan mail letters, pretend fan mail letters. Should we read these? Let's read these. Let's read one of them anyway. Dear Princess Toadstool, I'm a successful tyrant and I'm sure I'd be pretty popular with the ladies if I had a really keen nickname. I may sound crazy, but I've always wanted to be called Muffin. Here's my question. Where do you steal a nickname? Tyrantly yours, Koopa. Let's read this one too. Dear Koopa, you don't steal, this is the reply. Dear Koopa, you don't steal nicknames. You earn them. If you want people to call you Muffin, you have to give them a reason. For a, for a start, I suggest eating at least 100 muffins a day. If that doesn't work, try sending every citizen of Mushroom Land a hundred Koopa bit bill along with a note sign from your friend Muffin. Call me Muffin. He's got a little name tag. Let's read the next one too. Dear Princess Toadstool, My name is Fanto and yes, I wear a mask like the Phantom phantom of the opera so here's my beef every time i visit someone's house what kind of music do they play opera and i hate opera if i have to listen to one more lady viking shriek in german i'm going to go crazy sincerely phanto dear phanto try taking along your own records when you go out if your friends still insist on playing opera uh, try changing your name to Elvis or Muffin and if that doesn't work you might consider moving to another area area okay we gotta read the last one too dear princess to toadstool my name is Luigi and I have a brother named Mario so far so good right the problem is whenever we go people say here come the Mario brothers it's annoying I rather we called uh, we we were called the Luigi brothers how can I get equal time in the name game sincerely Luigi dear Luigi princess replies even though yeah, ever thought of changing your name to muffin <laughs> until next column that's it for from princess muffin toadstool Oh, check this out what is this hey it's twice the power and now it's every month get the power Nintendo power so this is the Nintendo magazine I guess introducing Nintendo's Nintendo's new magazine pack 12 big issues a year Six better than ever issues of Nintendo Power. Cool. Nintendo Power. What's this guy? Nice. New issue Comics Express. What? Haha. <laughs> That's our acronym for it. Division of Mile High Comics. Really? Check that out. 
New Issue Comics Express, Division of Mile High Comics. The subscription club for serious fans of American comics and we're international. We serve collectors best. Comics shipped in custom design sturdy boxes. Comics delivered in brand new uh, condition guaranteed. Discounts of up to 20% off. Over 4 million back issues in stock. Monthly newsletter. Advanced information on upcoming comics. Monthly investment advice. Monthly bonus discount. Check this out. Monthly bonus discount uh, book at 50% off. Free back issue price guide. Discount Marvel Age. Uh, start or stop at uh, any title, any time. APO and FPO service. Shipping weekly, bi weekly, or monthly. Sound good? Send us your name and address, and f uh, free of charge, we'll rush information on how to join along with a copy of our latest newsletter. Right, Mile High Comics. This is Mile High. Mile High Comics uh, was one of the biggest and is one of the biggest comic book, uh, I guess, resellers, stores, uh, online, uh, and they have a huge presence, I believe, on eBay. Their comics are overpriced, uh, in my opinion. I've never bought off them. Who's this by? This is by John Walker, Ken Lopez, Barry Goldberg. Koopas, believe it or not. Koopas, believe it or not. So I guess this is just a little bit of, uh, believe it or not, tidbits. Let's check it out. Why is he wearing a dress? A crown? Or is that Koopa's wife? What is that? In lizard language, Koopa means thing of beauty. Haha, <laughs> I didn't know that. In lizard language, that is. In Brooklyn, stuffed mushroom caps are a great delicacy. Strangely enough, in mushroom land, stuffed plumbers, stuffed plumbers caps are a favorite or the war. They stole in Mario's hat. Or dorve, or dorve. Favorite or dorve. What's the stuff by? The King of Mushroom Land has over 2 million crowns in his collection, but only one pair of socks. 2 million crowns and one pair of socks. Stinky. On April 9, last year, a plumber actually made a house call. The local natives appreciated it very much. Okay, okay, just this once. By the way, kid, where did you get that uh, weird hat? He's got his fingers in the dam. Believe it or else, Bowser says. Oh, this is believe it or else, not believe it or not. It's a spoof off uh, show that was believe it or not from the 1990s. 1980s and 90s. We got this one too, Captain N. Right on, right on. Awesome, awesome. Let's take a look at this one. This is by John Walker, George Wildman, Jade, P. Uh, Zorito, Andre Brooks, the gradations. <laughs> and this one was on sale in May. Cloud nine. Morning comes to mushroom land and everyone greets the day with a smile. Cockle doodle doo, the mushroom says. There's 
Princess Toadstool Muffin. There's Mario. Luigi. Why is he going cockle doodle do? He's a mushroom. You want he should yell mush? <laughs> Jokes are crazy. <laughs> That is almost everybody. What's almost everybody? Oh yeah, it continues from here. Morning comes to Mushroom Land, and everyone gets the start. Everyone greets the day with a smile. So everybody's smiling. That is almost everyone except for the king. Ring. Da. The clock is smiling. why you i oughta yo at this rate i'll never live to be a grandfather clock ah just a tidbit about uh believe it or not believe it or else believe it or not uh from what catholic tradition is telling us on the live stream uh, was actually originally a newspaper cartoon in the late 1910s so very cool 110 years ago let's continue with this the king is all grumpy in the mornings Wah! the clock is running grumble grumble growl looks like the king got up on the wrong side of the royal bed so what else is new mario replies with a mushroom pulling pouring uh, you would assume it would be coffee right i wonder if it's mushroom tea oh my oh my yo uh oh it is tea mushroom tea tea hey I mean, tee hee, another rough night. Your cranks, crankiness. He poured hot mushroom tea on Luigi. Not a nice king. Daddy, what's the matter with you? You scared the TikTok out of poor stopwatch. grumble it's that dratted bed of mine the mattress has more lumps in it than a bowl of oatmeal i think it's time to buy a new bed mario says you can say that again oh, the clock's not happy that afternoon this looks like the place snooze world over four million winks sold a division of wart wart enterprises sounds like a two snore 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 there's people snoring in the snore in the snore in the store What's this welcome to snooze world what can i do for you today boink 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 he's bouncing on the bed why do salesmen always have such bouncy personalities mario asks the king of mushroom land needs a new bed so tired <laughs> is that mario jumping on it walk no is the little salesman boing 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 walk this way gentlemen i'll show you something in a king size 
twin beds identical and fraternal These are all the bets the king's gonna try. Look at that. Why has he even disappeared? Too hard. The top one, top left one. Too soft, he sinks in. I don't understand the top left one. Where'd he go? He cracked it. Oh, because he's all the way down here, okay. So when he went on it, he got cracked. Oh, someone's mentioning this one is, is actually a funnier joke than I thought. They're twin beds, twin beds, identical. They're identical twins. And someone's saying fraternal is twins that aren't identical. So that's actually a good little joke. Cute twin beds, identical twin beds or fraternal twin beds. Cool. So the king is here. So on the top left, he's gone, jumped on it, but cracked it. So it's too hard. In the top right one, he went into it and he sunk in. So that's too soft, right? And you see his footprints. That one's too lumpy, and it does look lumpy. This one looks okay to me. So lumpy, lumpy. Is that the, the guy, Apple falling down, gravity, Newton? Or is that the guy with, supposed to be the guy with the, what do you call it? That put the keychain on the, on the thing. Why would he be okay? Oh, so was the graph saying that looks like the Quaker Oats guy. That's right. It is too. That's a cute joke. I like that. Not lumpy enough, this one. Okay. That one's not lumpy enough. What does the king want? Not lumpy enough, Luigi asks. This is ridiculous, Mario says. Oh, what are they doing? Someone's being kidnapped. Meanwhile, something suspicious is going on. And with this crew of insomniacs, it sure isn't a dream. Huh. What the hey? The salesman is getting kidnapped with a rag over his head and that's bowser for sure maybe oh no it's not bowser some toad guy look at that excuse me bozos i mean gentlemen may i suggest one of our cloud nine mattresses help that's a salesman in the sack behind them what's that mario asks It's uh, a talking pillow, sir, so that people who talk in their sleep will have someone to talk to. Uh -huh. Cloud nine. Now that sounds comfortable, the king says. That salesman looks very familiar, Luigi says. If, you're just, if you'll just step this way, gentlemen. Pidget, you're on. The salesman, dressed as a salesman, says something. Oh, the Pidget's going to do an announcement. Special announcement. Even though this is a bed store, we are having a super sale on all plumbing supplies. 100% off our already incredibly low prices. This sale is going on right now, just outside. By the garbage dumps wow luigi and mario say uh oh i 
think the kid's about to get king's about to get kidnapped and that has got to be bowser suckers first stop 99th floor lingerie chocolate covered insects large bricks sounds like a long elevator ride the king says now for plan b off they go in a little elevator what's plan b uh oh they just realized mario and luigi they've been had adding it up is perfectly clear warts warts snatched the king again i can't believe it not only that they were sold out of plumbing supplies luigi says oh my mother didn't raise me to be a softy the salesman's pissed ah because luigi's sitting on him he thinks it's a pillow we've got to rescue the king mario says So that was Wart, it wasn't Bowser. Well, let's get this focused. 2,927, 2,927th floor. Here we are. Nice wallpaper, the king says. The sun is smiling. Cloud nine bed department. The smiling sun is cute. Yeah, that's what a happy face is supposed to be little yellow happy face little yellow smiling sun follow me fella i think i've i've got just the bed for you our cumulo nimbus cumulo nimbus special cumulo nimbus is a form of cloud so it's the puffy clouds so our cumulo nimbus special i guarantee you you'll sleep like a little prince oh who look at that the king is all happy this is more like it the king says why eon i'll think i'll uh take a zzz. he just passes out wait here our ro royal unconsciousness i'll be right back with the paperwork in your dreams sucker <laughs> and the king is floating away look at that The king is a very light sleeper, haha. <laughs> Full of little jokes. Look at the little mushroom guy. Big smile, little cow. Happy little book. Look at this, Mario. How could we lose a king? Lose a whole king, Mario says. What's that? Snore. A clue. There's a shadow of the cloud bed. Right? And the king's snoring. All the little happy mushrooms. Oh, a little mushroom picnic. That out. more egg salad anybody no thanks it gives me spores haha -ha. lots of little uh, quick jokes in this the kings floating by Zzz. there's the guy he <laughs> he 
This is going to be excellent, he says. Rumble. The king's generating uh, lightning on the bed. Hey, look. Hey, look. It's the king. Look at, look at. I said, look at. The little mushroom kid says, all excited. Oh no, our picnic is ruined. The king is being a royal pain. He reigns over us. Ha ha. He reigns over us. Cute kid joke. Lightning. Oh no, the princess is soaked. That's funny. I thought I just saw daddy floating by. Maybe you're getting too much sun. Uh -huh, that's a salesman guy. Troublemaker. Shriek my laundry, she says. Too much sun. Ha! Huh? I crack myself up. Uh, he's fallen down laughing. There's going to be an uprising. Look at this. Uh oh. Looks like the king dampered their enthusiasm. Come on. I've got an idea, Mario says. The king is a drip. Wake up and smell the coffee. The monarch is, is all wet. Who'll stop the rain? Haha. <laughs> stop. Oh, they hop on a plane. <laughs> boy these old planes sure are noisy that's not our plane that's the king snoring haha <laughs> the king snores a lot that's how they found them maybe can you fix it would you ask mario no sweat whether it's a faucet or a drain cloud it drips a drip Squink. That ought to do the trick. And now there's just one more drip to take care of. Mario says. Looks like it stopped raining. Hooray! We like the king again, the mushrooms say. Oh, the little kid was trying to fish in a pond. Huh? The mushrooms should like the rain though. They like it wet without the dampness taking the mushrooms rise and shine your well well restedness your home yeah it's almost time for bed Oh, they just weighed it down. They grabbed the cloud and came down with parachutes. I just had the strangest dream, the king says. Tell us about it, daddy, the princess asks. So he's got cloud for bed now. Look at that. Let's check out what his dream was. And after Mario fixed the leak, oh no, it wasn't. And after Mario fixed the leak, in my cloud he harpooned wart with a plumber uh, plumber's helper tied him to the plane and set the automatic pilot for the middle of fungus forest ah, look at that he's stuck and the plane is just taken away So that's wart. He he, that sounds like quite a dream. Your drowsiness, quite a dream. Mario's winking. Everybody's happy. He's floating on his cloud. Mushrooms are cheering. So that was his dream, but that was for real. Nice, Mario Brothers number two, and this is we got this one too, right? 
on sale in May. We have one more page to read. Let's check this out. Let's see what this stuff says. Subscribe to your favorite Nintendo comic system title. It's a great deal. So this was Valiant Comics trying to generate the money, right? Get people to subscribe to this comic on a yearly basis, right? For 12 issues, generate the money so they could kick off their superhero line of characters, right? And it didn't work out to their plans. The writing in this is cute, but it definitely is, doesn't hold up to the Valiant comic book universe, right? Let's read this. What if you could climb into the screen and see a game from the midst of the action instead of from the outside? What if you were right there with Mario facing Troopas and sh Shy Guys up close and personal? What if you could travel into the landscape, past the castle and over the block mountain, whoops, over the block mountains to Cloud Nine Betting Store? or even to King Bowser Koopa's old high school. With a lot of help and guidance from Howard Phillips and the rest of the wonderful people at Nintendo, we'll go where no man has gone before. Come with us. Just one thing, we need your help too. Please give us your comments, suggestions, and ideas. Write to Voyager Communications Incorporated, 132 West 21st Street, New York, New York, one zero zero one one thanks for joining us this time don't let the game end continue right. cool. and this was fabio right. this was fabio it was a good historical read actually it was nice to read it there's a few people that wanted to read it so and me being one of them i've never read it i bought it but i never read it so it was cool to read it with you guys um it's cute definitely but the audience that they uh created valiant comics with their superhero line of characters was uh, of higher caliber there's definitely no doubt about it right and the writing was absolutely phenomenal when they started releasing harbinger and well magnus robot fighter and solar were the first two and then harbinger coming on and whatnot right so a nice read is a good read good historical piece important for comic book uh, world to have read this because this was the first uh, mario comic book uh, that was put out right as far as i know okay what i'm going to do i'm going to turn chat on turn on uh, my camera Hi everyone turn on notifications turn on chat good fun it was good fun spot of tea agreed it was good fun well worth the read well worth the time spent to read it i agree and we read everything in it <laughs> even though even the pretend fan letters right to princess it was too cute for my taste i guess aimed at nine to twelve year olds in 1990s uh, yeah i would i would even say less than 12. hi brazilian here hello brazilian how are you doing auto carlos autocar autocar carlos i would say this this would be more geared towards uh seven eight nine right i wouldn't go as high as 12. like when i was 12 i'd be reading x-men comics right and i by the time i was 13 i was looking for uh heavy metal magazine so i would say this is way pre-tween uh six seven eight seven eight nine maybe to get him start reading and stuff like this i'm not sure why they decided to go with this they thought maybe it was a shoe in and i've read this before they thought it was valiant comics jim shooter thought it was a shoe in to be a money generator right people would subscribe gaming i mean jim shooter was a visionary there's no doubt about it right he was one of the true visionaries of the comic book medium right and in general of pop uh, 
pop culture so he knew the gaming industry was going to become huge 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 right so maybe he decided to go with this to generate the money i based it on the 1981 mario game release cool yeah 1981 it was in 1981 first mario came out sega came out um a sega um sonic came out around the same time sonic would have been maybe 82 a year later or something or maybe the same year i can't remember from sega genesis uh but a cool read it was good to do it was very good to do and i'm glad we did it with the original uh, i'm glad i didn't i was thinking about getting a like a reader copy and doing it on that but man it's got to be original right i'm very tempted to send this in to be great at tell you the truth right i'm thinking about sending some comics and to be great at so uh, we'll see what I end up picking up. Uh, oh, we forgot to put this in there. We gotta put this guy in there. Oh, oh, oh! We gotta put that guy in there. We have to make sure it stays intact, right? It'd be cool to see what grade it comes back in, right? It's just the price that we send for books to be graded. I just, I can just buy more comics, right? but it might be a good idea it'd be cool to do i'd be surprised if it came back less than 9.8 like really there's no way this thing should come back as less than 9.8 i would say 9.9 .9 even right would it be a 10 i don't know do they put it under some kind of lighting to see if there's any fingerprints on it because i was grabbing it at the edges right a and they're so backed up are they yeah they must be totally backed up sonic was 1991 sonic can't be 1991 no 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 1981 elder god for sure 1981 as well then yeah i think i don't remember him earlier no sonic would have been in the 1980s how many perfect 10 grades do you have i have no idea coolio i don't like who would give it a 10 like i would give this a 10 elder god elder god. sonic was 1991 my god 10 years later mario came out 10 years before sonic sonic is so vivid in my imagination like in my not imagination in my memory that playing sonic just zooming along 10 years later wow that's how much of an impact Sonic had, eh? Are we talking about the comic book or are we talking about the game? The game couldn't be 1991, was it? The comic book would have been 1991. CGC are so liberal with their 9.8 grades. 1991 and sega genesis oh my god grant i always thought uh an elder god thanks for looking that up as well uh i always thought sonic was in the 1980s just because we were playing uh, games in the 1980s for some reason i just thought sonic was from that period bureaucracy kills cgc are so liberal with their 9.8 grades I, I would personally tell you the truth uh, it depends i looked at the this the other grading company c c b s c c b c s or something like this um so um we'll see 85 was the first mario brothers game 85 was the first mario brothers game so wait a second what came out in 1981 that elder god mentioned what came out in 1981 i'm just scrolling up trying to find it oh i lost it so uh, mario brothers was 1985 so six years later i didn't have to i was in the army when it came out ah the mario video game franchise kicked off with donkey kong. oh that's right donkey kong in 1981 the sonic franchise kicked off with sonic the hedgehog in 1991 cool the arcade game ah the arcade game ah yeah donkey kong donkey kong was one of the hardest arcade games to play i tried it every now and then and man i would get killed within 
minutes it was so hard right i liked the uh, centipede centipede and uh pac-man and defender and uh and a few of the other uh, shooter games for uh video games gang that was a good reading i'm glad we did it grant we got it done okay elder god aren't you glad it's over <laughs> What we'll do tomorrow is we're gonna do uh, relationship live streams tomorrow at 8 p.m. and then we're gonna follow it up on Tuesday with a movie uh, club live stream at 8 p.m. on Tuesday night, right? So we're gonna pick more movies uh, to watch. Okay, Mario Brothers was released in 1983. Super Mario Brothers was released in 1985. Wow. Okay, that was super fun and chill. That was super fun and chill. Uh, simple humor some of it complicated i didn't catch some of it uh you guys caught some of it how'd the first one go pa -pa. can you read dark horse comics for sure we don't have any picked out dark horse comics right now but uh i'll try to keep that in mind uh little joker if you do a reminder once we finish these set of comic books if you remind me to pick a one or two dark horse comics i'll pick them and we'll do dark horse readings as well good movie discussion great movie discussion that was super good birmingham had a anti-mask rally yesterday wow 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 okay awesome little joker that'll be fantastic and dark horse comics i have a fair bit i like dark horse right Ooh, legend of mother sarah legend of mother sarah i don't know that one cheryl i don't know that one gang if you want to follow this work i'm on patreon mods thank you for taking care of business gang thank you for being here uh participating in the live stream i'm, I'm glad you guys enjoyed it hope you enjoyed it and thank you for the conversation and uh, thank you for all the background info uh, fantastic getting that info and having it out there right um if you want to follow this work i'm on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o if you want to support this work patreon is a fantastic way to do so i don't put anything behind paywalls share and share alike you can follow this work and after a while if you do have the means to support this work patreon is a great way to do so we are live streaming on twitch if you want to participate in the chat in these discussions in these live streams as they're happening twitch is where you want to be at twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e and gang thank you for the subs thank you for the follows thank you for the comments okay we do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on lo vk minds gab parlor and twitter and the links will be in the description of this video and we do share some additional content such as pics and whatnot um, of some of the things we've been doing this morning i shared a pic of uh, uh, jam a strawberry jam we made and uh, unripened grapes that clean and uh, they were set dry okay uh, when we're not doing any visual type of streams where we're doing open discussions i do record the sound on a lapel mic which i'm not doing right now and we will be uploading those audios to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho chy cho spot of to oh, wow that's brilliant command that's really we put it together the mods uh, uh asked uh, if we could have something like that that way it's so much easier than doing each one so the social network links come up which is fantastic and we are on discord i never mentioned discord but we are on discord and our discord is fairly active we have you know 550 people there and people are sharing a lot of information and stuff and the link will be in the description of this video and it's on chat right now uh, so if there is comic book stuff anything else you want to share we have different folders so good discussion being uh taking uh being done there new one i fancy deacon blackfire next read the cult batman the cult and we will be uploading the stream to bitshoot and youtube and if you are following this work on those platforms subscribing and turning on notification is a great way to support this work because i know youtube for sure unsubscribes people and turns off their notifications a few people have messaged me saying i subscribe to you but it's not subscribe anymore i'm so glad i found you again okay it is what it is 
we have to be active consumers okay and the links will be in the description of this video and if you're on youtube supporting this you work through youtube membership is also a great way to support this project also so that's uh who the cult is about that's who the cult is about spot of tea deacon blackfire the first appearance of deacon blackfire in cult number one right he doesn't last many issues spoiler 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 right gang i hope you guys have a fantastic sunday and if you can make it tomorrow and tuesday 8 p.m pdt my time relationships tomorrow movies tuesday have you ever seen preacher yeah coolio for sure or read the comics yeah I, I haven't finished preacher comics i've read more than halfway preacher comics the graphic novels i found the, at the library and i've f watched all of preacher it was great it was a great series great comic book and a great i don't know if it was netflix or hulu or whoever did it it was a great uh, series as well okay bye everyone hope you have a fantastic sunday